What's happening, guys? You might think because I moved out into the big city, into a house, that uh, I don't consort with the van dwellers anymore. You might say I've moved on from that life. But some things never change. And so just recently, a fabulous, wonderful Patreon patron of mine was breezing through town and she said, you know what? I'd like to stop and see you. And I was putting my solar on and there's a couple of little things that, you know, I still haven't quite sorted out. I've never put one in before. Would you just take a look at it? And so instead of, we did, we looked at it and instead of uh, leaving it at that, we went on and hooked everything up and before she's about to beat feet on out of here, we're gonna take a tour. And with that, I present to you, this is Janet. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And so we just finished your solar. You're gonna be off down the road here soon. Why don't you give us the tour? Okay. Would that be all right? Yes, it'd be good to get out of the sun. All right. And so you chose a five window? Four. Okay, so you got a four window. It still has dualies in the back? Dualies, uh, Thomas, a 3500 Chevy Express, basically 5.7 liter regular gas bus. It was a daycare center bus that went out of business and it was up for sale for a really good deal and only had 45,000 miles on it. So um, I scarfed it up and ripped all the seats out and started building it out. Were you looking for anything in particular in a bus? No, I wasn't necessarily looking for a bus. I had spent a year renovating one of my uh, rental properties and knew I wanted to travel. And my other two vehicles, my Subaru and truck, were just too old to pull anything. So I needed a freestanding vehicle. And my son found this online and it, I jumped on it before it got sold. Um, it, it was, yeah, $3,500 for 45,000 miles. It's a 2000, um, but a 23 passenger Thomas and I ripped everything out and built the bed and a composting toilet, which were my two necessities. And then I took a trip out, f took a five week road trip out West, went to the RTR and, um, a bunch of national parks and out that direction and came back and ripped everything out and with the first trip that gave me the knowledge of what I felt I needed and kind of an idea of where to put it so I um, designed my space based on what I had I had access to two six foot uh, butcher block pieces of wood from a timber framing job for free from my son and uh, I bought a stove and a refrigerator, scratch and dent for cheap, and got the sink was sitting in a friend's yard and got it for free. You know, I have a three burner, burner stove and I have a freezer and a refrigerator. It's been great. Now that the panels are hooked up, <laughs> yeah. um, I shouldn't be having any. Uh, any. I, I do have a Libem under the hood which is a gizmo that charged my two lithium batteries, which are all at the other end of my bed, um, when I was driving. But sometimes if I sit for a couple of days, they would get low. So I have a sink with a uh, whaler foot pump and uh, I have fresh water in one tank and uh, gray water in the other. So it's very convenient. And I can just pump in Yeah. and there's your water. Yeah. So where do you um, get water from usually when you're on the road? I bring it from home because I'm on a well and I like well water. Okay. So I usually, so far I've always had enough that I've brought with me. Talking about the inverter. Yeah. How many watts is it? That's a thousand watts. Zantrek, that's a good name. Zantrek. Pure sign. The monitors, I have two monitors up here. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to mount them and I'll figure that out on this trip so you've got a monitor from the inverter and you've got yeah. a bmv 712 victron battery monitoring system which you can access with apps on your phone i had a wire rack 
drawer unit so I just built a box around it uh, as my dresser so and um, all my reflectix and my grocery bags uh, stuffed under there my composting toilet I built I've just got a five gallon bucket and I use coconut core here to for the, the solids um, and a funnel that goes into a jug out front just some spare table and stuff if I want to carry outside somewhere oh and my curtains um, these were wonderful I found a trackless um, trackless probably isn't the right word but a uh, curtain rack and it just it slides so so nicely I have one that covers the front for privacy and then I have one that can go around my toilet so if I'm sitting anywhere in a parking lot I can use my bathroom and then I have a um, I put my toilet on wheels so I can pull this out because there's so much space in here and I have a so it's not mounted to the ground on the floor of the bus it's no just I have there. it bungeed to the back but um so it, it can move but gotcha. I have a sh five gallon camp shower that I can hook when I open up my escape hatch and I run the line here and I put my big rubber made um tub underneath it and pull the curtain around and i can take a shower i did not want to penetrate the roof for my solar panels so i designed this rack with, for angle iron and my wonderful son evan helped uh do all the welding for me this is about the most solid roof rack i've ever seen i still need to put the decking on the back and i have a max air fan which now that i have solar thanks to jamie i'll be able to hook up my max air fan up there but and i'll properly i'll take those straps off the solar panels that those are temporary um but yeah it so we bolted it into the uprights for the uh between the windows which are steel so hopefully it's not going to go anywhere Let's take a look at the solar real quick. Basically, we ran the panels in series. Did you want to see in here? Yeah, I just want to take a peek in. We ran the panels in series. We used a turnabond to fasten it down, clean the surface first, put a uh, entry gland in there with butyl tape and uh, self-leveling die core, fished the wires down all the way to the inside. And let's take a look at that. So let me see if I can get back here. So we're running two 100 amp hour lithium battleborns. It's the iron phosphate is the chemistry on these. Powering a, uh, well, it's powering a, the uh, inverter right now. We haven't hooked up 12 volt uh, fuse blocks to it yet. But the solar panels are two 320 watt solar panels for a total of 640 watts, 9.6 amps, wired in series, making them uh, 640 on the watt side, and it's still 9.6 amps. And so we went with a 15 amp on the hot side of the solar panels. You can see right there on the left, and a 50 amp for the once it's been up converted by the Victron solar controller, which is all uh, configurable, uh, calibratable from an app on your phone. All the wire was sized properly by Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. This is not a commercial for them. A couple of, um, oh, let's see if I can get in there. A couple of main shutoff. Uh, got a bus bar for the negative or the ground. You, there's your shunt to be able to pull information off of the battery system so you know what you're using every day and so forth and there's your positive bus bar we're grounded over here for, on the solar controller and we're also grounded over here on the uh, bus oh, you can see it what inspired you to do all this well I had been teaching for 30 years and administrating and left that and I worked for a very stressful nonprofit for a couple of years and I knew while I was rent, uh, renovating one of my rental properties that 
I wanted to travel and see the country before I got sucked back into another job. And I was just really determined to make it happen. And it, I did. So um, I, I boondock everywhere. So I spent a lot of time out in the woods, which allows me to recharge. And um, so I'm, you know, staying in forest land and BLM land and so forth. So it's, um, I pay enough for gas that I don't try not to pay for camping. Um, I have a few times, but you know, it's, it just gives me the freedom to go where I want, when I want. And, uh, this, I just finished five weeks. So I haven't, I've done five weeks so far. I'm not finished yet, but, uh, it's just allowed me to see a lot of folks I haven't seen in a long time and allow me to travel all over the place. And just to go to one location would be limiting and it's still a work in process as you can see it's definitely been a worthwhile cause and it's gone beyond my expectations well i would just say don't wait till you're too old to do it do it while you can physically you know so when you're traveling you can get out and do the hikes and um so don't wait too long try to make it happen sooner than later very good well, thank you very much for stopping by. We do have a sponsorship. Let me give you the thing. This video is sponsored by Elmake. What'd you call it? Elmake. Elmake. Fingerprint Smart Door Lock. I'm going to put, I've got two of these. I'm going to put one on the back door and one on the front door. And I'll do a video when that time comes. But I want to give these guys a shout out because they've been very patient about me getting to the review. Also, if you would like to breeze through, I'm in the greater Baltimore area. It's very safe where I'm at. I know Baltimore has a bad rap in that regard, but out here is kind of like considered the country. This house is registered as a homestead. And you would like your solar installed, either leave me a comment in the notes so I have a heads up, but or in the comments. And then also hit me up on enigmaticnomadics at gmail.com and we can talk about the details and I can walk you through. In fact, if you just want a consultation, we can set something like that up for you too. And with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon on some other videos. I didn't want to tie an update video into this. I want it to be a straight uh, bus tour. So we're going to leave it at that. Hope you guys had a good 4th of July and we'll see you soon. See ya.